Okay, so 3D printing is one of those things that over the past few years has recently exploded. The fact that you can essentially design a product from scratch, 3D print it, and then have a functioning working prototype by the end of the day is honestly kind of cool, which is why I partnered with Autodesk to put this series together. And more specifically, how I was able to design this. <laughs> This is a fully functioning 3D printed toolbox and I had designed it entirely using their 3D modeling software, Fusion. Now to give some context, about two years ago, these beast of a machines came out and with the release of these machines, it has spawned a fury of new ideas and products that have come to life, especially with the existing 3D printers that existed on the market at that time. For example, like one, like this stackable and foldable storage crate, or like these 3D printed twist lock containers. And believe it or not, I designed all of these projects using nothing but Fusion. Now, even though I was able to 3D print these, with 3D printers evolving so fast, you still need the right tools and equipment to keep these machines running properly. So with that said, I wanted a way to organize all my tools and accessories into one place without relying on plastic baggies, buying a toolkit online, or having to scatter them or even lose them around my workspace. So I did what anyone with a 3D printer would do. I printed one myself. Myself. So to get started, I first needed a sketch with a list of features that will help me turn this product to life. And for me, there were four things that were very important. One, the frame needed to look and feel cool and have some sort of premium product feel. Second, the container needed a handle for easy on the go storage. Three, it also needed some sort of way for the lid and the frame to connect without having to buy or purchase screws to connect them to each other. And lastly, it also needed some sort of clasp or mechanism so that way the lid and the frame can connect together and hold everything in place while I carry this around. And once we had all that, it was time to get to work. Okay, so now with this design fully complete, I quickly want to go over some of the features and specs that I added to this while still keeping its core functionality. So for the frame, I created this simple but sturdy design with a hidden shelf. Essentially, things could sit at the bottom and this small shelf will act as a spot where you can actually place an insert at the very top so we can maximize storage space. Additionally, I also created an open back design where I can just attach the lid to the frame without any sort of additional screws or accessories. For the handle, I did say I wanted it to be able to take it with me anywhere on the go, so I designed it with this piece to sit directly on the lid, and when I need it the most, it folds right back up for easy access. Also, for the clasp, I created these sort of folding clasps. You snap it into the bars of the frame for the lid and the box, and they fold onto the top and bottom, keeping them secure and from things falling out. One last thing too, I did mention I wanted a premium feel for this design, so for this, I'm going to be printing this with PLA carbon fiber. This is essentially PLA with carbon fiber bits added to it, and it's supposed to give your prints a rough but a premium textured feel. And now that we have a model fully designed, let's send this off to print. Okay, so here is the final 3D printed design. Now, before I go into the details of this, I got a lot of inspiration from toolboxes and coolers, more specifically like loadout and gearboxes, which is basically just toolboxes that are a bit more reinforced, more so against damage, scraping, and designed to last a little bit longer, especially to hold all the things inside much more snug and secure. And with that said, I kind of had the same exact idea for this design, albeit trying to use 3D printing to create something that feels much more premium and not too plasticky like regular PLA. The cool thing about this design is that I was able to use just Fusion to create this product and by the end of it have a functioning working product to hold all my gear into one place. 
Also, I know some of you might be asking whether or not you can actually scale this up into a full size product, which you actually could. You would just have to split this in half. And I do have a functioning working model here with me. Okay, so here is the larger size version. So I did have to scale this up and split this into two different parts, but it does function the exact same like you would with the smaller one. The only difference is that you would have to scale it up and make sure everything is proportional to fit everything that's inside. But you can actually put real stuff in here and it would work like a toolbox that you would buy at the store. The only thing about this design here is that it did take me about several spools of filament to print. But if you want a much smaller version like the one we have here, this was about maybe 600 grams total. So it's not too bad. If you want to get access to the STL and 3MF files for this project, the files are 100% free. Make sure to join the 3D printing community down below in the description. It's an online community teaching you exactly how to design your own models. And we even have a free fusion course for people who are just getting started and who want to learn how to design their own products. With that said, a huge thanks to Autodesk for helping me create some really cool projects. I've been using Autodesk products for the past five years now, and everything that I've ever designed and created has been solely using Just Fusion. And I can't wait to see what you'll create using their software and their products. So if you're ever curious about designing your own models, products, or even turning this into a career, I would highly recommend starting with Fusion as that's my go-to software for creating functional products just like this. But with that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.